Hello everyone, my name is Raman. Today in this video I want to show you a 3 minute game that I played. This is a very interesting game. Not because of the opening or middle game but how I checkmated him. I mean, it's almost um, I mean, a kind of funny and interesting. So let's, let's go to the game. He played e4. He played e4, I played e6. And he played f4, I played d5, knight c3. I think this is I mean, this is not the best way. I mean, giving playing f4 and then giving away e5, e4 pawn. I don't think so. It's good. Knight rook and after knight takes knight f6. After knight, he I think at least he should have he should have either taken or he should have played knight c3. I mean, this is the kind of lo all looking pawn structure. So I don't think he played. Mm, Played the opening in the correct way. I simply open. So as you can see, now my bishops are uh, really good if he can, if he tries to castle shot. Let's see three. Had attacking the f4 pawn and after knight d6, knight d5, and get f6. I don't I don't think f6 is a good move, but I mean because of it weakens the e5 pawn. I mean e6 pawn. So my idea was to. I mean when I was when I played when when I was planning f6 I was all, I mean the main I, I was thinking about playing either rook rook to e8 or queen to e7 or, and then I'm I want to open break open the center especially because of my bishops so that's the reason I played I played f6 just to also support the e5 break yeah I mean if if he gives me if he plays a normal one like say the bishop to d2 then I, I can i can strike in the center oh, i can strike in the center so that's a so i think queen h5 is a very good move and then he play i played g6 i i was thinking about uh, whether g6 or f5 uh, for example if f5 if f5 then it completely blunts i mean there is i mean the knight has more literally the knight is bad the bishop is bad and uh, because of this pawn, because of this pawn, the bishop is bad. So I think everything is completely fine. But, but I have a weakness. That's my only problem. So, I mean, I can play c5 and then try to open up the position. But still, I, um, but I still, I still wanted to go with my initial idea of breaking this uh, center with c5. Yeah, I think queen h3 is a very good move again because it, it, it he's always stopping my idea of e5 pawn break. Yeah, here I was thinking I, th I think maybe e5, and then playing something like playing again something. I mean, not queen c7 obviously because um, yeah maybe queen c7, and then again going up with opening up the center is I think this is this should be still bad but I'm mean, good, but I don't know I mean three minute game who cares? So open so I mean if I play something like e5 then he can take the pawn. My queen is written on I think I think here maybe maybe f5 must be a good move because of all these pins. I think f5 I was I was a little worried about f5. I'm not sure what I would have played. I'm not sure what I would have played. Maybe f5 I was looking I was worried about f5. So here f5 is possible. So if I have to do, I have to do something now. So I played the knight rook. All the when isolated pawn that doesn't that doesn't I mean isolated king's pawn. Usually we see queen's pawn isolated, but yeah, I, mean, I still have I mean I still have very good uh, piece play. Yeah, here I mean my, I have to give up. My, I mean my bishop will be exchanged for the knight. I, I my bishop has no uh, retreating squares. So I mean it can go to d6 but knight can capture it so there are no other squares so I thought he actually means my actually takes and then I and then I should have I should have played I should have played bishop to bishop to f2 forking I mean literally winning but uh, but I was going for mate and even now I, sh I can play I can play bishop f7 but I, but I missed it in the game. 
so yeah this is a very funny thing so from here i mean so here he can he can go back i mean sorry he can go to history he can go to history again and if i want i can repeat the position but i wouldn't have repeat i wouldn't have repeated the position but still i think he thought maybe i mean this is an opposite color bishop ending so one thing to remember in the opposite color bishop ending is usually the usually the aim or position favors the the player with whose bishop is in a better i mean whose bishop is uh, aggressive or uh, has better chances of attacking for example my bishop my uh, his bishop right now is a he might be a good piece but still it is not it is not doing anything but in the meantime my bishop is controlling all the important squares i mean for example here like if if i wanted i mean for example if it was um, maybe the pawn or something on is on h3 my bishop would have done a very good job like bishop check and then after he he uh, he's king h1 and then i can play and then i keep bishop to f2 and after king to h2 uh, queen uh, queen to g1 is checkmate so usually the position favors the person with the whose bishop is aggressive or uh, helping in attacking yeah here i think i i mean he here he played a mistake okay why is why is this mistake uh, why is this a mistake because my queen will come to d7 and then he, he it will i mean all the all the escaping all, all the escaping squares are being cut off that's uh, that's the problem with uh, that's the problem with uh, bishop to f3 and to queen d7 king g5 so bm i uh, so here there are two checks possible but the problem with uh, the problem with bishop to e7 is he has this king to h6 and uh, i don't have a queen to g7 because my bishop is on e7 so that's the reason i played bishop to e3 and after the and uh, there are right now no squares available so the so the only square available is on f6 so he played f6 and then queen to d6 is checkmate I mean the the last few moves are very really funny. How he got checkmated in how he got checkmated on f6 square. So yeah, I mean I missed I missed some I missed some I missed a move especially the bishop to f2. I don't know how I missed it. Yeah, but it happens. It's a, it's a, it's it's only a blitz game, three minute game. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.